The attorney for Gilgo Beach serial killer suspect Rex Hoyerman said he wants the cases against his client to be tried separately. Hoyerman charged with six murders, including the so-called Gilgo Four appeared in court recently for a status hearing before State Supreme Court Justice Timothy Matsei, News.com has learned. Michael J. Brown, Hoyerman's attorney, told Newsday after the hearing that at a minimum the newest charges the deaths of Sandra Costilla in 1993 and Jessica Taylor in 2003 should be severed from the Gilgo Four. They have nothing to do with the other four, Brown said. There's nothing, no relevance to the four. The Mo is different. The way that the murders were allegedly carried out was different. The way that the bodies were deposited, for lack of a better word, was different. In June 2024, authorities filed charges against Hoyerman for the alleged murders of Jessica Taylor in 2003 and Sandra Costilla in 1993. He was previously charged with the 2010 deaths of Melissa Bartelemi, 24, Megan Waterman, 22, Amber Costello, 27, and Maureen Brainerd Barnes, 25, front page detectives reported. At the hearing, Suffolk County District Attorney Ray Tierney reiterated that Hoyerman is also a suspect in the death of Valerie Mack, who disappeared in 2000 and whose remains were found in 2011 near the spot where Taylor's remains were found in Manorville. As far as splitting up the cases against Hoyerman, Tierney told reporters, there are reasons why you would want to try these cases together. Principally, for judicial economy. We anticipate there will be a lot of pre-trial motions in this case, there are a lot of pre-trial motions in most cases, but in this case, it is just going to be a lot of motions given the length of time and breadth of this case. Brown said he is anticipating filing a motion to sever the cases at some point, probably after discovery is completed, Newsday reported. He also said he is considering a motion for a change of venue. The problem is and I don't think we've committed to anything yet is in every county in our state, I would suggest that everybody knows about this. According to CBS News, Hoyerman's estranged wife, Asa Elierup, attended the court session with an attorney as well as her service dog. The outlet reported she did not speak at the hearing. The next conference in the case was scheduled for October 16th.